Hey everybody, welcome back to Custom Robo. Sorry about that abrupt opening. My audio recording software would not open up because it's annoying. Last time we entered the, uh, well, we, yeah, we did. We entered the battle tournament at the training gym. It looks like 32 competitors have signed up. Don't worry, we're gonna be, we're, we're gonna be doing all 32 of those fights because this game is just targeted against us. No, we're not gonna do that because that would suck. This is just the first step on my road to becoming a great commander. I'm gonna win today. Hey, guess what? He doesn't win. Yeah. Tell me about something about Robo. Robo customization. Please stand for speed. Sky aerial abilities. Yeah, great. Okay. So now I just don't care. All right. So we're done. We talked to everybody here. Now we can actually get started. Oh, except Marsh. We haven't talked to her. She doesn't want to fight right now. That's terrible. Yeah, the plan sucks. Thank you all for waiting. Let's begin the battle tournament. All the competitors should now take their side places. Alrighty. Ooh, Marsh is fighting boy here. Uh, these people have not started. So, oh, here's my first opponent. Where do you fight this little kid? Isn't that the kid? Isn't that the kid that lives next door to you? Don't expect me to go easy on you just because you're my neighbor. That kid's got guts. Try not to let him beat you, Mama Luigi. When you charge by using the X button, your robo's invincible while it's lit up. If you can time your charge just right, you're going to punch your opponent. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I got it. Okay, don't underestimate him just because he's a kid. Yeah, that's right. Our first battle is Walt's son, and... He uses the awesomest robo in the game. Well, not the awesomest, but a really cool one. You might remember that his father has uh, a funky big head robo. Well, so does his son. Uh, the funky big head model, this one's the seal head. This one's my favorite of the three, actually. Uh, again, excellent at dodging airborne attacks. You can jump three, uh, do three continuous jumps. Oh, two continuous jumps, I'm sorry. Got very good defense, and you really want to stick to the air because it moves slow shit on the ground. Nothing particularly uh, bad about him. I mean, the, I, I think the funky big heads in general are actually pretty good. But yeah. Alright, so we got our robo, pretty sure. Actually, the flame might be tough to use on him. Uh... Alright, we're actually not going to use the flame on him, because he's going to be in air for the most of the time. I want to use a gun that I can hit him in the air with. Uh, really, the only one I got right now that's really any good is the three-way, so I'm just going to use that. And for the next fight, I'll try to use the uh, flame gun. And I think we're fighting on a new Holoceum. Uh, yeah. This is uh, the kids' Holoceum. As you can tell, it's like toy, toy stuff and... Ah, buttons. I love that combo. That is so good. Oh, sorry. I'm not talking again because I'm an idiot. Ah, what an ass. Get up. See, look at that. Dodging the incoming gunfire. That is the power of the javelin. Oh yeah, I forgot the speed pods don't last too long, so I gotta use them close range. Ow. I almost hit my own robo, though. That would be pretty funny. Ow! Sucks. <laughs> that was a good combo right there. Hit him with a bomb, then a gun, and then a pod. Ah, uh, I could have trapped him there. Oh well. Let's charge his ass again. Or let's not, it works too. I'm kinda of surprised he's not sticking to the air very much. I'm kinda of screwing around. I shouldn't be doing that. Well, I do want to kinda of keep my distance. Well, alright, I want to charge him, of course. Ah, the train! Got my way. 
Ah, uh, that's how you fail at using the javelin model. Yeah, I'm just a champ. Oh, if you if you didn't notice, uh, attacks when the opponent is down actually do less damage. So that bomb had only did like 30 damage, but that's also because the opponent was down. I think it does more damage when they're standing. So you now have access to the tin twin flank pod G. So we actually had the twin flank pod F, but now we have the G version, which is awesome. I lost on the first match. Oh, hey, kid, don't feel too bad. You did good. You put up a good fight. It actually did burn me down. I almost had my health, so I'm not that bad. Oh, you fight me fighting Harry? I would have won for sure. Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm sure you would have done better in your dreams, dick. Can't just let the kid be happy. What's going on now? Oh, God, she's here? Oh, no. Let's see what he has to say about that. I can't. I'll end up taking it easy on her. <laughs> Alright, here's my next fight. Dende Don. After that little incident you saw, the police made me shut down my restaurant. They said I should have called them first. Anyway, I need money, so I've joined this tournament. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope your battle goes well. Thanks. Maybe once they let me reopen, I can advertise Diamond as the Restaurant of Champions. I'm not sure robo battle skills really make for a better restaurant. You can use the air dash in a bunch of different ways. Blah, 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 blah. What? Where am I? What's wrong with you? <laughs> that is so good. Okay, enough of that. Now I figure you got it made here. Seriously, how can you lose against a cut? But play it safe. Yeah, alright, let's do it. Let's do it to it. Dende Don actually uses the uh, another of the little raider models, which I mentioned in the past. Um, I like I like I've said about uh, the Peregrine was the other one, a little raider model, extremely agile on the ground. It can do three continuous jumps, but it's got really shit defense. But this uh, this one in particular compensates for that by using the drill gun. So if you can, if you can get up close to your opponent with that. And just fuck them up. They won't even have the chance to hurt you. So it's yeah, it's a really short range gun, but it's actually pretty good. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. I'm gonna customize my robo a little bit. Oh, I didn't get the new pods that I just got. Oh well, too late. I'll use the flame gun. Medium range versus short range, I should still win. All right, so let's do it. I think we're fighting in another new Holosseum here. Actually, this is probably one of my favorite ones in the game. Yeah, the Chinese bowl. A big bowl of ramen noodles, even though it's Japanese, but I got a pretty common strategy here. I usually like to stick to the top, but uh Yeah, yeah, as you can tell the flame gun's a beast. And it's also got a shit range. And yeah, look at that. He's down so easily. That's why I don't really like Raider mo little Raider models. Their defense I don't expect their defense to be high, but it's way too low. I mean Almost to the point of being unusable. That's what I think, anyway. And yeah, I mean, I think the flame gun's actually a good choice if somebody wants to use a little raider model, like to use against opponents, but also to use on little raider models, because the flame gun's got kind of a spread to it. So even if you miss, like, the first bunch of shots, see, like that, I initially miss, but since the flame spreads, eventually hit him and knock him down. So. It really works both ways. Although that's another problem. Ow, dude. I actually hit him with a bomb and stopped him. It's pretty good. Ow, I'm a dick. I want to hit him. I want to just charge his ass. Ow, alright, yeah, that's what I get for being cocky. I'm not going to let you get away. There we go. Kicking his ass. Dick. Come here. I'm gonna flame ya. Shoot him with my flames. I'm just gonna keep doing that until he walks into him. Pwned! Dude! That's great. I'm just so good. 
Poon. Oh. I was hoping he'd hit that. Dick. Damn it. Jump up there. Jump up there. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm just a tank. Look at that. All right. So we beat Dende Don pretty easily, actually, as expected, since he's using a shitty model. You now have access to high jump legs. Oh, that reminds me. I never showed you guys the feather legs from so long ago. My hopes, my dreams, my restaurant of champions, all gone. You know, maybe it'd be better advertising if you entered, like, a cooking contest instead. You, you're right. I'm sure I can win a cooking contest. Thank you, thank you. I'd never have thought of it. I don't have a clue what you were thinking in the first place. All right. So that was round two. Let's get our new parts. You might have seen our opponent got just now. Oh, man. All right. So I guess I'll show you guys the feather legs. Obviously, our new pod. I'm going to switch back to uh, the three-way gun. Just because I think it's probably the best one I have right now. And uh, twin flank G, yes. The only difference between these two pods is that it blows the target different ways. So G actually blows them upward, which you can actually chain with like a gunshot or something. And uh, yeah, pretty much. It's only the only difference. Oh, I need to show you guys the new legs before I forget again. Okay, so let's see here. All right, we'll start with feather. Decreases jump speed, so if you want to spend time in the air, the feather legs are for you. Alright, let's do it. Oh, you look familiar. Have we met? Uh, back at the park. It wasn't that long ago. Maybe a few days. Did you take me out for a date? Or something? I'm sorry, I really should remember. I only really remember the good dates and the really awful ones. You look like you'd be memorable. Uh, uh, thanks? How do I tell her we didn't date? Anyway, how'd you get this far in the competition? I met all these cute boys today, and I told them we could go out on a date if they lost to me. So they did! She might not be a good commander, but she's got some mean skills. Uh... What about you? You probably want a date too, don't you? You boys are all the same. No, I really gotta win. And besides, she's kinda skanky. That's right, duty before dating. We're lucky she didn't ask me. I'd list her any day. <laughs> so you're actually going to try fighting me? Not just because I'm adorable doesn't mean I'm a pushover. Oh god. She can push me over any time. <laughs> oh, well. I guess I'll show you what Earth my Aerial Beauty Robo can do. An Aerial Beauty, huh? Yes, this is a new model we have yet to see. The Aerial Beauty model moves excellently in the air. It can do an air dash, but it can do something in continuous jumps, so yeah. It can move quicker than a Shining Fighter, but its offense and defense are lower. So... Basically, it runs faster on the ground than Shining Fighters, and can move decently in the air. It, about as well, it's another balanced robo. Offense and low, offense and defense are lower though. So yeah, I mean it's similar to the Shining Fighter in some senses, but you know it's got my new differences. You're, if you're using the Air of the Beauty, you're not going to attack directly. Instead, you'll probably spend a lot of time dodging and moving to get to the best position. Pretty much sounds about right. Marsha also has one, actually. Milky Way. Got it? Got it. I could say win or get a date, but Harry, I'll just explain that all again. Just because you want to go on a date doesn't give you the excuse to lose. That's right. We got, we got work to do. We're real men. We should focus on that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyway, Earth. Yes, Aerial Beauty. Agile while airborne, pretty speedy on the ground. Uh, can do two continuous jumps for the in the air. So feather legs are pretty good for them. Uh, great at avoiding attacks. So there you go. Pretty simple. 
And, I mean, if you use a good gun with them, you won't even need to worry about the offense. It's just that you have lower defense. Anyway. Uh, I kind of want to start near her. Ah, shit. That was the worst spot I could start. Ah, see, look at that. She, they're very good at dodging because they can use the, uh... I'm trying to remember what it's even called. Ow, dude, I just blew myself up. It's retarded. She's using those Gemini bombs. Which I could see how that would work for her. But I'm too, uh, I'm too vigilant to fall for that shit, so. You could even use the combo when they're already down. I mean, nothing wrong with extra, all extra damage. So yeah, I mean, if you're fighting an aerial, uh, aerial beauty, you want to stay on the offense. And don't give them the chance to dodge, but I'm failing miserably, so. See? That's how it works. Ah, I walked right into that one. Uh, and she's using the freeze bombs, too. That's kind of a pain in the ass. And I just cancel out her gunfire. Which is actually an element of the game I haven't discussed yet, but we'll discuss that a little bit later. I know that some of Harry's advice later in the game explains that. After a little bit of trouble in this fight, I actually did okay. <laughs> then again, you know what? On my luck, I could lose the last second. Ah, you bitch! <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can ram her. Oh! <laughs> Okay, okay, enough screwing around. I actually remember this being a semi-difficult battle. You gotta really keep on top of the freeze bomb and the Gemini... Uh, the Gemini bombs and the freeze pods. You really gotta keep on top of that. We now have access to the Earth. So we're actually gonna use that one next. Even though it's a woman model, but still. Oh, I lost! You're not bad with a robo, even though you beat me. We can still go out if you want. Huh, really? Damn straight. You lie! Tell me you're lying! Oh, hey, cutie! Are you busy right now? Let's go grab some food! Oh, God. She reminds me of a girl I know in real life. What just happened? Great job, Mama Weed. You made it to the semifinals. No, I made it too. I beat my three badges, and my next opponent is. You gotta be kidding me, Marsha! That's right, Harry. You're bitched. Ah, I lost! <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna call it an end here. See ya.